Season 2 picks up right after the events of the finale of Season 1. Dan Edgar, the CEO of Vought, discusses about Soups joining the military at last. Meanwhile, Black Noir goes on a secret mission to kill the Soup terrorists. Back at home, Homelander holds a funeral for Translucent who is finally revealed to the world to be dead. But it was a heroic sacrifice. Starlight also sings a song. We also see that A-Train is in a coma after suffering the heart attack last season. The boys are now in hiding and they are now wanted criminals. And they hide out with Frenchie's associates. Turns out Huey and Starlight are still dating and she's willing to help them, but they have to be under the radar as Huey's still wanted. Billy is then made out to be the mastermind behind Stillwell's death and is missing after that night. Ashley walks in on Homelander while it turns out that she's got Stillwell's old job. And she also finds a new member to replace Translucent and she introduces Blindspot who is a diversity hire and a really nice guy. But Homelander bashes his face because he doesn't want a blind man joining the Seven. Starlight then tracks down Gecko who is up to some sus activities which she films. The Deep then joins this cult known as the Church of the Collective and they promise him that he would rejoin the Seven. Annie then blackmails Gecko into stealing some compound V for her. Stormfront then introduces herself as the newest member of the Seven, shocking everyone. But she was recruited by Stan Edgar but at least Stormfront is a Gen Z soup who can livestream stuff. The boys then meet with Reyna who updates them on their families and about the soup terrorists but her head explodes. Homelander then goes to threaten Stan Edgar about not being consulted in the new additions to the Seven but Edgar replies saying Homelander isn't their most valuable asset, Compound V is, so Homelander should chill out when giving it to the soup terrorists. Homelander then flies off to find a newly recasted Ryan and Butcher meets up with the boys after being dumped in the middle of nowhere. The boys are mad that Butcher had disappeared without a trace and left them on the run. Meanwhile Homelander and Becca argue over the use of Ryan's powers. Becca doesn't want him to turn out like another Homelander but Homelander thinks that he should learn to control his powers. Stormfront is then introduced to the world in a press conference showing off all all of their female superheroes. A train then returns shocking Starlight who didn't expect to see him so soon. Gecko then hands Starlight compound V who tries to hide it but A train catches her and questions her about it. The boys then track down the soup terrorist and it turns out the soup terrorist is in fact Kimiko's brother Kenji. Kenji then attacks the boys and the two run away. Butcher reveals to the boys the truth about Becca and that he needs their help to find her and to save her from homeland. Kimiko and Kenji then have a heart to heart where she finds out that once she had escaped they had captured and implanted compound V into Kenji. Starlight and A train then have a standoff about the compound V and she threatens that she will leak the truth about Popclaw. Kimiko and Kenji then get into a fight over an argument and Kimiko manages to choke out Kenji and they're taken away by the boys. The boys then head to a boat and since they can't really hold Kenji captive anyway, it makes sense. Homelander keeps spawning in on Becca and Ryan, though despite his antics, Homelander is actually trying to be a good dad. However, it turns out the truth about Compound V has been exposed to the news outlets and this causes outrage within Vought. Adrian then confronts Starlight who's smiling watching the news. Homelander then does this. <laughs> He then berates Becca that Ryan isn't being raised right. The police have tracked down the ship of the boys and they say that the boys are under arrest and the boys then drive their yacht on the run from Fort. But the Deep is then summoned back in after going through therapy to hunt the boys down and since they are on water, it makes sense. They then crash into a whale and it's gruesome. The team then exit the dead whale and go underground. Then the Seven arrive on the beach and the Deep apologizes to Starlight but she disregards his apology. The A-Train then runs ahead to find the boys but gets dizzy and stops. Starlight then runs into Huey and attacks it but don't worry, they still do like each other. It's just the homeland that is right there. Kenji then drops cars onto Homelander allowing for the boys to escape. Kenji then runs away and is pursued by Stormfront who has no regard for civilian casualties. She mercilessly attacks many African Americans who are in a way, revealing her true nature. She then catches up to Kenji who she then kills as Kamiko watches. Meanwhile Stan Edgar holds a press conference about Compound V and denies any knowledge of it. Homelander then flies to a place to meet up with Stillwell who is alive, but it turns out that it's actually Doppelganger posing as Stillwell. Starlight then gets confronted by Homelander who questions why she didn't kill Huey, but she lies saying that she hates Huey but won't kill anyone, fooling Homelander. Black Noir on the other hand visits Annika and he shows her a piece of paper asking her to track down Billy. Homelander then tells Adrian that he's been replaced by Shockwave since he can't run anymore. Billy then meets up with Becca and he promises to her that he will help her escape, but she says that Ryan won't be able to escape and Billy is hesitant to save Ryan. Meanwhile, M.M. Huey and Starlight then arrive at Liberty's house where they greeted by this one who reveals that Liberty had killed her brother though he had done nothing wrong and was murdered purely because of the colour of his skin. She then warns them not to say anything as Liberty will kill her if she did and it's revealed that Liberty is in fact Stormfront. Homelander then confronts Stormfront as she keeps undermining him and is apparently the real hero of the Seven despite murdering people and she claims that she can help Homelander's image problem but he refuses. Deep then gets married to Cassandra who is supposed to help his image and get back into the Seven. Then Homelander kills Doppelganger calling him pathetic but if you hit the subscribe button Homelander won't find you pathetic. Maeve shoots a scene for the upcoming movie The Dawn of the Seven where she is forced to come out as lesbian, enraging her. Adrian also films a scene for The Dawn of the Seven and it makes it seem as though his exit from The Seven is a lot more open-ended than it actually is. Footage of Homeland accidentally killing a civilian has been leaked and the news protests against him. Billy is then super depressed after Becca doesn't want to leave with him without Ryan and says he's going off the grid. Billy then finds out that his dad is ill and his parents are flying out to see him. The Deep then gives an interview saying that he's a changed man and thanks the Church of Collective and his wife Cassandra.
Huey and MM then show up to where Billy is and they realize that Black Noir's watching them. And they try to find ways to delay Black Noir. Annie's still mad that her mother had given her compound V as a child, and Stormfront might know that it was Starlight who leaked it to the press. The Deep is now the face of the Church of the Collective, and Congresswoman Newman then leads a rally against Homelander about the killing. And Homelander actually shows up, but he envisions killing them all. But he decides to stay calm to save his image and talks about how, how unfortunate casualties in war is really common. He flies away and asks for Stormfront's help to regain his image. MM, Billy, and Huey are then in the the basement where Black Noir finds them. They fight and Billy threatens Black Noir that he will release the images about Homelander's son. Stan Edgar then calls Billy telling him he will call off Black Noir in exchange for those pictures not to be leaked. Homelander then goes to see Stormfront and they get busy. Yeah, yeah, Starlight then gets her tracking chip removed. She then reveals to the boys that she saw emails on Stormfront's computer about the Sage Grove Center. And now they are close to a breakthrough. The Deep then helps Maeve recover footage of the plane crash from season 1 and then the Deep offers his help to A-Train. The boys then head to the Sage Grove Center where they find Stormfront talking to patient and lamp lighter sets him on fire. Basically this entire center is a place where they administer compound V into adults but since compound V only really works in babies it gets rejected by a fully grown body. We then see a bunch of flashbacks to the night Mallory's grandchildren were killed by lamp lighter. Basically the boys had made an offer to lamp lighter to be a spy for them in the seven but he rejects it and sets Mallory's house on fire killing her grandchildren. Back in the present we see that lamp lighter realizes who friend she is and pursues after them but he accidentally lights one of the cells open allowing the patients to escape. Lamp lighter and the boys are then trapped in a room where Lamplighter reveals that he didn't intentionally kill Mallory's grandchildren when they were in the house. He didn't realize they were in the house and they realize the only way they can escape is if they team up and one of the soups escape and pleads to Billy, Huey and Starlight to let them go but the soup accidentally attacks them causing Huey to get hurt and Billy shoots him down. Billy and Starlight then take Huey to the hospital. Meanwhile MM, Frenchie and Kimiko take Lamplighter to meet up with Mallory who wants to kill Lamplighter but Frenchie convinces her otherwise. Stormfront reveals the truth to Homelander that she's basically a Nazi and had married Frederick Vought, the inventor of Compound V, and Homeland is basically her and her husband's dream project and she confesses her love to him. Stormfront then starts promoting a racist agenda on the news, which convinces a guy to go kill the shopkeeper at a drugstore purely because of the colour of his skin. Lamplighter then wants to do good and make up for the mistakes of his past and tells Newman and Mallory about what happened at Sagegrove Centre. Huey due to his injuries is made to look after Lamplighter whilst the boys gather more evidence to use against Vault. Starlight is then knocked out by Black Noir and held in prison somewhere in Vault Tower. Huey then watches the news and he sees that Starlight is in prison and convinces Lamplighter to help him save her. Billy then goes to meet his dad, who he blames is the reason behind his brother. Death. Homelander then takes Stormfront to meet Ryan and wants them to get to know each other better now that they are family. Mallory and MM convince Vogelbaum to testify in court but he refuses fearing the safety of his children. Kimiko then teaches Frenchie her secret sign language. The leader of the Church of the Collective then tells Adrian and the Deep that he will talk to Stan Edgar about them rejoining the Seven. Homelander and Stormfront want to show Ryan the real world but Becca disagrees but Homelander counters saying that he wants to give Ryan the childhood he never had. Lamplighter and Huey sneak into Vault Tower and Lamplighter sets himself on fire which sets off the the alarms and Starlight can escape and Huey is shocked that the key witness against Vault is now dead but fear not as Billy drinks tea whilst also threatening Vogelbaum to testify. Black Noir ambushes Starlight but Maeve comes to save the day by feeding him almond joy since he's allergic to it. Then at the congress hearing Vogelbaum testifies against Vault but people's heads start popping left right and center including Vogelbaum's. This shocks everyone including the boys who are watching this from their left. Mallory and Newman find out that the government has allowed for the use of compound V in the military. Becca then escapes the compound after Brian calls her a liar for hiding the truth about him being a superhero. The boys are then scrambling for a new witness and Starlight claims she knows of one. She then tries to get the secret witness to confess, which turns out to be Maeve, who says she doesn't care about the stuff anymore. Stan and the leader of the Church of the Collective then hold a meeting about the newest member of the Seven and the Deep is allowed to rejoin since taking in two would show that they're too desperate and also because Stormfront is racist. Edgar then finds the boys and Billy promises to find Ryan. And Billy also gets a call from Stan Edgar. Billy and Edgar then hold a deal. Edgar will free Ryan but keep him away from Becca and Edgar feels is that Stormfront and Homelander are out of control. Billy then remarks that saying Ryan is the only one that can control Homelander and Edgar says that Stormfront has made him uncomfortable with her racist views. Adrian then crashes into the car of Huey and Starlight showing them evidence that Stormfront is a Nazi and that he is now even for Starlight saving his life and also he wants to join the Seven but he can't if she's in it. The files about Stormfront then get leaked to a news channel enraging Stormfront who flies away to Fort Tower and finds out everyone hates her. The boys then use a sonic device to make Homelander and Ryan suffer in pain. Becca and Billy then save Ryan and he sends them back to Mallory saying that he couldn't split them up despite his deal with Edgar. Stormfront then attacks the boys flipping the car with Becca and Ryan and in the coolest scene out of the series so far Starlight and Kamiko team up to fight Stormfront then Maeve shows up out of nowhere and the three then beat Stormfront but she manages to escape but finds Becca and Ryan. Becca then attacks Stormfront 
but it does nothing and Stormfront strangles Becca. This activates Ryan's laser eyes, burning Stormfront's face and he also tore off some of her limbs. But sadly Ryan also made a cut on Becca's neck, causing her to die. But before she dies, she gets Billy to promise that he will take good care of Ryan and he agrees, though he does want to kill Ryan at this point in time. Homelander then arrives and taunts Billy into killing Homelander. But Maeve arrives and shows him footage of the plane, saying that people won't love him once this comes out and he lets Ryan and Billy leave. A-Train is then joined back into the seven pissing off the deep. Huey then joins Newman in her office of super fairs and the leader of the church of collectives head blows up by Newman, revealing that she is in fact a super and is behind all these head explosions. Subscribe and comment below your favourite part of season 2.